Yeah, I, I just wanted to continue from the video that just got cut off. So, from the previous whatever video. Um, so this is actually part two, not part one. Um, yeah, I was talking about love and um, it got cut off. Uh, you cannot produce love when you haven't received any, you know? And these things you should even ask, you know, if you felt like you never received any love. But, you know, you are here and you're listening to my message because God loves you. So, that's one thing to be thankful of. You have many things that the world people don't have. Think about the people in Africa or people suffering in other countries. It's a privilege to even be listening to this message because other people in other countries, other Christians are being persecuted just by believing in Jesus Christ. And they're doing mighty works, a lot of miracles happen because they're abiding in Jesus Christ, the hope of glory, you know? Uh, so, you know, in order to produce love, you need to receive His love and that is only through by grace, which is in Jesus. So, the doctrine of grace is actually wrong because grace is Jesus Christ. It's not a doctrine. It's a person. Like I've said before, it, let, let me emphasize what grace is. Grace is the breaking of law. But that is only possible when you're with Jesus. Because Jesus is the grace of God. So when Jesus Christ was on the Mount of Transfiguration, guess what? Moses came. Moses was there and Elijah. Moses representing the law and Elijah representing the prophets. And Jesus came and when God told him, uh, now listen to him. All these, all these, uh, Moses and Elijah disappeared. The law and the prophets disappeared. Doesn't mean the prophets are not any, there anymore, but there are still prophets. But I'm saying it disappeared and Jesus said, now grace and peace be upon you. Grace and peace be upon you. When you abide in Jesus Christ, who came through the Holy Spirit, as you have received the Holy Spirit, you're abiding. You're you're now living with Jesus Christ. As as you receive the Holy Spirit, Jesus comes through, through through you and lives in you by the Holy Spirit, and you are also with the Father. You're in the Father, and the Father is in you because Jesus Christ has a Father in Him. And the Father, you know, so this is, a, this is another great revelation that I'm just sharing with you guys um, that I kind of had to figure out. But yeah, you're with the Father God if you have the Holy Spirit, just as you have Jesus in you through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is Spirit of God and, you know, they're all pretty much together. And through the Holy Spirit, everything is going to be possible. You know, you're being... So w when you wake up in the morning, I usually proclaim, "Yes, Lord, I, I believe that I am abiding in you. And I am in, I am in you, and you are in me. Just as I'm in the Holy Spirit, just as I'm in, the, just as I'm in Jesus, and Jesus in me, and the Holy Spirit in me. So pretty much, God is just everywhere around me, in me, just everywhere. You know, wherever I go, and I ask the Lord to send Thy angels to protect me." You know, to everywhere, and I just firmly believe. You know, those who, 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 who believe the Bible is hundred percent cor correct. That you believe the Bible hundred percent, everything written in there is true, will experience the miracles that are written in here. Those who don't believe this hundred percent, well, can experience only whatever they believe. You know, a lot of miracles have been happening to me these days. And God's been just blessing me without even me really asking, you know. Um, well, God just led me to get get, get things that well, I never really, you know, asked for. I just kind of been led and uh, felt like, you know, doing some shopping. And, well, God just blessed me with a whole bunch of stuff that, uh, even this one, you know. This one, this is a cross in the middle and, the, you know, King of Kings with the crown on here. And all these angels wings. You know, like, like these things, you know, that... I got it for cheap, you know, really cheap, like almost dirt cheap and everything was good and perfect and, you know, God's just been blessing. God is a blessing God. You abide in God, God will bless you. You know, I'm not, you know, you know, 
saying this is pro prosperity gospel, but Jesus Christ, Father God, is rich. And if he wants to be rich, he'll be rich. You know? Those who are those who ask. Now, you're not gonna be rich for your own good. I mean, for the stuff for some of it's your own good, but you know, it's it's mainly to give back to those who are lost, to those who are poor. When you gotta keep on doing the sewing, you know? Putting this sewing of gift of giving and you'll receive and receive. I give a I, I gave a lot. When I didn't have much, you know, and I had like few 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 bucks left in my pocket. I gave that gladly to the to the Lord, you know, to the poor people with a glad heart. Saying like, yeah, 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 you need it more than me. You know, I gave, I gave, I gave again and I received and received receive. That is though that is the way how God operates with things. You know? Give and re you'll receive more. Don't don't try to think like with a benefit in mind, oh what a what a what a benefit from this? You know? Yeah you will. But you don't you don't go consider that you just <clears throat> you just do it because out of love and grace. You know? Because God loves me with so much and God has gave me so much. Now I'm able to give at least, you know, whatever, you know. If people like come and beg you and you got money and you don't give just because you don't have change, you know. Let's not do that, you know, let's not be so selfish. If God convicts you and your heart feel like, you know, you want to help that person, just do it. Just do it. That is the best blessing that you'll receive. And then, you know, because, and, and you'll be able to glorify Jesus, and Jesus will love you. If you touch God's heart with your love, God will definitely, definitely bless you back and maybe use you in ways that maybe He wants you to use. You know, and just gladly just be offer offer yourself up to the Lord if He wants to use you more. Um. So, so uh, this message is pretty much about giving and loving other people, and receiving His love through the grace of Jesus. And uh, you know, let's not be prideful. Let's not let's let's humble ourselves before the Lord. And let's be bold against the evil which is in the world, the things of the evil, you know, you know, let's not judge them, but let's, let's see with discernment, and let's see things with wisdom, and let's, let's act with wisdom, and let's act with love, you know, don't turn, turn your, you know, friends and other people, just because, you know, they're not believing in Jesus, but you have to show them love, and, they, they'll probably say like, well, yeah, I tried church and all these people, you know, that, that'll be one of the excuses, great excuse. Oh, well, you know, I don't believe those people. They're all like hypocrites. And you tell them this, well, it's written in the Bible, there will be wheat and tares among the brethren. You know, and not everybody in the church is good, but a lot of people in the church are good because of genuine love of Jesus Christ. And you have to compare with the percentage of how many people are good in the church. You know, you tell them that. You know, well, yeah, there are some, but, you know, there are wheat and tear, you know. In the field, there are not always, you know, full-grown wheat. There are some are half-grown and some are still growing and, you know. So you tell them, you're coming to church because you want to, you need to be cleansed from, your, from the sins that we are committing every day. I mean, who's going to save you? You know, from hell, like, I mean, I, I guess you can't really sell, oh, you're going to hell or something, but, you know, just be, just be wise and let the Holy Spirit speak through you. Ask the, ask the Holy Spirit in your head, Lord, please speak through me right now and please convict him of the words that I need to tell him, you know. Can you just speak, you know, and then just believe that the Lord is speaking through you. So, uh, everybody, let's, let's get back on track with the Lord. You know, if you haven't been praying, pray fervently for hours and hours until, you know, or at least with a, with a truthful and earnest mind, you know, to get back with the Lord. You know, if you're a lost sheep, well, it's time to come back, guys. It's time to come back to the Lord and rededicate yourself. And don't let the demon condemn you with whatever sin you're committing. Don't let any condemnation, you know, make you feel depressed. You should be glad that Jesus Christ is cleansing you with the blood. So God bless you guys, and let's stay strong. Amen.